Now to the latest in the trial of the man accused of killing Briasia Terrell. In Scott County Court, video of a man who says he may have helped Henry Dinkins' car out of a ditch near Briasia's remains. TV6's Jenna Jackson was in the courtroom again today and tells us about uh, the piece of evidence that was focused on today there, Jenna. Yeah, Paula Redrick. Uh, this morning we heard that police interview with Jared Brink. Now he's the man who says he pulled out a maroon Impala near the area where Briasia's remains were found. Now after that interview, police took Brink to the site near Kunal Implements and he showed police exactly where that happened. Now that would have been on 270th Avenue right off of Highway 61. Now from that exact area, FBI Special Agent James McMillan took 10 soil samples to be compared to the previous soil samples collected under Dinkins Maroon Impala. Three samples from under the Impala were taken from the back part of the car. One was taken towards the front. Now here are the results. Three of the 10 soil samples from near the remains were similar to the three samples taken from the back of Dinkins and Paula. Now that means those soil samples were indistinguishable from the ones taken from the car. The other seven samples from near the remains site were excluded from the vehicle soil samples, meaning they did not match. Now the defense focused on that, saying 70% of the samples were excluded. However, the FBI analysis who did the analysis, analyst who did the analysis said soil samples taken from a small area of ground can greatly vary even from each other. Now the state using this part of the testimony to not only back up Jared Brink's statements, but also to directly tie Dinkins to the area where Briasia's remains were found. The defense, however, trying to cast some doubt here, saying there's no way the analyst could say for certain that the matching soil samples mean Dinkins was in that area for sure. All right, Jenna, thank you for all of that. And a reminder tomorrow, two DCI criminalists are set to take the stand. They'll offer testimony on the DNA testing of Briasia's remains and testing on the clothing found on and nearby her remains.